In this video, I want to talk about the sign conventions of the first law of thermodynamics. Now, the first law is often stated as the change in internal energy for a system is equal to the heat represented by Q plus the work. On the other hand, we can go elsewhere and we can find, just definitively stated, that the internal energy change of a system is equal to the heat minus the work. Everybody seems to agree that the heat going into a system is positive, that it raises the internal energy of the system. Think of the system as a bunch of gas molecules. And any heat that comes out of the system cools those gas molecules and is normally considered to be negative. So the problem is only with work. Now from an algebra perspective, I can clear this up instantly, and I want to do that. If we look at the, in, the internal energy change of a system, this is a way of stating the first law that is always true no matter which sign convention you decide to use. The heat is going to be the negative of P delta V. And I'm not going to tell you whether P delta V is positive work or negative work. I'm just going to say that the heat minus P delta V is going to be the internal energy. In the case of this first system where we have heat plus work, we have to define work as equal to minus P delta V in order to make the statement true. In the case of the second system, in order to make the statement true, we have to define work as plus P delta V. In this system, work done by the system is a loss of energy, i.e. expansion work cools the gas molecules and is negative. In this green system, work done by the system is expected. Typically, the reason work gets done is because you're actually putting heat in, causing the gas molecules to heat up and pushing the piston up. And that work is a positive thing. So in this case, expansion work is positive. However, to keep perfect track of internal energy, that positive work has to get subtracted from the heat input. And therefore, we're back to our top equation, which is the change in internal energy is going to be the heat minus pressure times the change in volume. I expect this may clear up any issues that you've had with the algebra. I can't do much to make the English better work by the system, on the system, by the surroundings, on the surroundings. You're still going to have to think very carefully about these questions with respect to who is asking it and what answer it is they want. Good luck.